Around winter of 2023, when I was just a 14 years old kid, trying to learn scripting so I can make my favorite Roblox game, I came across a YouTuber. His name was Brodev, he had around a thousand subscribers at the time, and I found his tutorial to be very well explained. Anyways, one day, after I came back home from school, I was scrolling to YouTube and I saw that he has created a Discord server and when I joined it, I saw that there was an ongoing game jam and I have 4 days left before the event ends. Not only is the event halfway over, I still have to go to school, do homework, etc. Even so, I thought it was worth a shot, so I joined anyway and it was one of the best decisions I made in my entire life. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. It was around Christmas when this happened, and the theme of the game jam is the gift of gifting. The theme is a bit vague, but I had a general idea what the game will be. My idea for the game is, it will be a round based game. Each round, presents are gonna fall into the map. Players can pick it up and give it to others. And when you give someone a present, yeah, that's the game. It was quite a simple game to make. But remember, I barely have any time to create this game and I was still a relatively new developer back then. So I'm gonna have to lock in if I want to finish it. The first thing that I did was create the present models. Then I created the present holding post and scripted it. After that, I decided to build the maps. And since I'm no builder, the first map that I built was just an empty base plate. And I can't have every map be a base plate. So I asked a friend, who's an expert in Minecraft building. Trust me, he got this. On the second day, it was the weekend so I had a lot more time to work on the game. I ended up spending the entire day making the round system. The round system is quite simple. Firstly, the game checks if there's two players. And if there is, it goes into a loop state. The loop begins with the intermission phase. After the intermission phase is over, the game will pick a map and put all players in the table. Then the players will be teleported to the map. Every time a player dies or leaves, they'll get removed from the table. And if there's only one player left, the game will announce the winner, destroy the map, reload the winner, and loop back to intermission. This is how the round system works. I came up with this system and made it in a day. The system itself probably has some flaws, so if you guys spot any potential bug with it, make sure to put it in the comments. On the third day, I had to get as much work done as I could since the next day will be a school day and I won't have much time to work on the game. Firstly, I had to create the present spawning system. I wanted it to spawn randomly around the map. I didn't know how to do this at first but after a quick search on the dev forum, I found a way to get a random position on a rectangle. I'll leave the link to the post in the description if you want to check it out. After that, I scripted the combat mechanic, which is simply a kill button. And since the theme of the game jam is the gift of giving, you gotta get something back for gifting someone, right? So I simply increased the speed of the player and called it the gift of giving. It was a school day, so I didn't have much time to work on the game. But my friend had finished the map. And honestly, it looked way better than what I expected. I even used some of the assets from that map to make another map. So for this, I'll let him out for 30 minutes. After that, I did a bit of testing. Made this little intro at the start of the game. Added some VFX and sound effects. And the game is finished. So, how did the game jam go? From the title, y'all probably guessed that I won, but honestly, I only won because of luck. There were far better games made in this jam, and those games should have won. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that I did win. This jam works on a community based voting system, viewers will vote for the winner, and since my game was the second to last game of the jam, due to probably recency bias, I won the jam. I'm very fortunate to win this event and with it i started interacting with the developer community more i don't know where i would be right now if my 14 years old self decided to not join the jam because of the lack of time and i'm very glad that i did 
So, if one day, you stumble across something that caught your interest, like an event or a contest, but you're not sure about joining, just trust your gut, follow your heart, and go for it.